The government gives out billions of dollars to help students go to college. That includes student loans. Today, News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday went to the IPFW College School Sunday. So, what are some of the do's and don'ts of student loans? Alyssa, I can tell you it's no secret. Students just don't like to take out loans. I know I was one of them. Even more so with some students graduating with no jobs in this rough economy. But sometimes students have to take out those loans. Financial aid counselors say if you do, use it for the right reasons. Dion Suarez and his mother came to College Goals Sunday. This program is to help families fill out their free application for federal student loan form or FAFSA form online. Suarez is a freshman at IPFW and says he found out he didn't have to take out any loans. I got lucky and I was able to get enough to pay for what I needed. But many students need and rely on student loans to pay for their education. Suarez says if he's faced with taking out a loan, he hopes to have a job waiting for him before he graduates. I just have to make sure I have a job and be able to pay it back eventually. Martin Murphy with IPFW says in this economy, finding a job isn't so easy, which makes it harder on graduates to pay back loans. They're graduating getting out of college and they're looking six, 12 months they're looking for, and then and seeing those student loans start kicking in. That's why he stresses using your student loans responsibly. Use it to pay for your tuition, use it to get some books, not getting taking these student loan loans out and buying a car or, 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 or getting furniture for your apartment. Not good. Suarez says he will be responsible with his loans if he had any because he knows it could hurt his financial future if he isn't. Don't want to have no bad credit or nothing like that. In the future. Murphy says it usually takes graduates between 10 to 15 years to completely pay back their loans. That's if there's no stop in payment. Usually, if you can't find a job within six, in, within your six month grace period, or don't make enough money to pay back your student loans, for federal loans only, you can postpone payments sometimes without penalty. Okay, thank you very much for that information, Lamar.